Hey guys, today I'll be giving my bedroom a minimalist makeover. I decided I don't want the desk or any workspace in my bedroom anymore. I want to create a sanctuary and try to have a simpler layout. So stick around if you want to see me declutter the space, do a bit of organizing, do some cleaning, all while Samson judges me the entire time. If you're new here, my name is Carla. Make sure to click the subscribe button and that notification bell. And let's start at the beginning. This is my bedroom on a typical day. I don't always make my bed. And I honestly felt inspired to start this makeover process because I ordered some new bedding from Walmart for spring. And it's just those little things that sometimes get you motivated to do a little refresh. And I feel like bedding is a really fun and simple way to upgrade or change the look of your bedroom for a new season. And I just love having nice sheets. So I have everything linked in the description box so you can shop the products. I ordered a few things from Walmart. I got this new bedding. So I'm doing a white quilt and white shams. For me, Gap Home is timeless, classic, American style. It looks so beautiful. It's high quality, great value, exclusively at Walmart, and made with organic cotton. I also picked out some art for the walls. I got one framed piece of art. So I got a bridge as a piece of art to add into the room. I think I'm gonna put it in that corner. This is it here. I like it. I don't know what bridge that is. Let's put her up. I desperately need framed artwork in my home. I don't have that much of it. The bedroom actually has a little bit of art on the walls, but I bought this framed uh, photo. It's a black and white print with a really large matting and just a wooden simple frame. I like it. So let's put this up and see how it looks. Now that I see the art on the wall, I actually think what I would do is get three different prints, same matting, same frame, and stack them. That or I probably need to get a different size, maybe a slightly larger print. Let me know what you think, but I really like it there in that corner. adding a little bit of color but it's a muted color it's sort of like this olive green like a faded olive green chambray stripe set so i thought that would look good this green as the base for the sheets the white quilt lighten it up i'm excited to kind of redo this um where should i start let's see where to begin what should i do first what should i do first should i move stuff out i should probably move stuff out yeah, I should move stuff out. Okay. Hmm. Hmm. Okay, let me come up with my game plan. There's always this moment right before I start working on a room where I feel this sense of overwhelm and like, where am I going to begin? But I always like to start by clearing the space. So, in terms of the bedroom, I'm starting in this corner and just moving out what I know for sure I'm not gonna want in the bedroom anymore, which is this desk. So now the desk is pushed up against the wall in my living room and will live there. I know it's good feng shui to have a bed with a bedside table on each side especially if you are wanting to call love into your life and i always hear it's not good to have a tv in your room it's not good to have electronics in your room 
I think it messes with your circadian rhythm or your sleep patterns, something like that. So I just feel like making this change is probably going to be beneficial for my health, beneficial for my sleep patterns. And I also think it's just gonna be nice to have less clutter in the room. Please let me know in the comments, do you have a desk in your bedroom? Do you have a TV in your bedroom? Sound off below. This little corner here is full of stuff that I don't know if it really, um, hmm. I don't know that this is really like decor that's needed in the bedroom, but it's not necessarily stuff I want to get rid of. Like this was my mom's. This is something I thrifted. This would be cool on a patio. This belongs in the dryer. And I even like the rock salt lamp, but I just, I don't know that I need any of it out. So I'm gonna take these out, but I'm not gonna get rid of them. I don't think I'm ready to like get rid of those. I think I just wanna store them. Okay, and then this is the table. That is going to go on the other side of the bed frame. Okay, so let's keep going. Okay, I moved the desk out. I moved one of the side tables over because I wanna assess this whole corner. I already feel like moving furniture around, it just changes the energy in the room. I can already feel a difference. So I'm gonna sweep in here. There's so much dust and fur and hair. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to do some cleaning, some sweeping, um, and then see what I can do about these cord situation because it's just too many cords by my head. I don't think that could be good for sleeping. This is the situation. It's just so much dust. Like even the bulb has dust on it. Like, look at that. That's right by my face at night when I sleep. Just so much like debris, way too many cords. So I'm gonna clean this whole area up. This has been broken for years. Perfect example of something I don't want in my life, especially my bedroom, broken things. It's been such an interesting journey decluttering my home and having lived here for eight years, I had so many items that were broken or things that have been irritating me year after year after year that I haven't fixed, that I haven't repaired, or that I haven't been willing to let go of. And it just takes that little extra bit of motivation or inspiration to take care of these things that kind of nag at you, or at least at me, they were things that were eating away at my energy. And so Getting rid of broken things, for me, it's about almost like raising my standards for myself and allowing myself to have nice things, the finest things, the best of the best, just giving myself permission to upgrade my life. And I'm allowed to do that. I don't have to keep things that are broken. So I'm giving myself permission. Samson, hi, his bed. This stuff will have to get to last because I'm running out of space. So all of this has been cleared. I'm actually gonna try the bed here against the window and just to see how that looks. Let's try it out. We've got this corner cleared. Feels really nice to have all of this cleared out. I feel like the emptier the bedroom is, the better it looks. This is one of those rooms where, because of the windows and the floors are actually not too bad in here, it really looks nice with just very little of anything in it. I'm gonna move the bed in here and try it against the window first. 
I don't think it's gonna look right with the drapes behind it, but let's see. So this is what it would look like if the bed were facing the front doors. I don't think it maximizes the space. It kind of just chops the room in half because this is a, a long room, like a rectangle. So it really, yeah, it just takes up the middle of the floor space. I mean, it looks kind of cool, but I think it's gonna go back to the corner that it was originally. So I've never had it over here. Originally I had a smaller bed that fit in this corner. It was a full size bed, but once I got a queen size bed, I moved it over to this corner. So that's what we're gonna have to do. The girl who lived here before me had her bed angled like this, diagonal in the corner. Let's see. I hate that you can see the dirtiness on the headboard. <laughs> That's just how it is, I guess, having one of these cloth headboards. Um, you can see the dirt. I, if you have solutions, I'm all ears, but I don't know. What, do I have to like stain remove it? I don't know. So let's try this out and see how it looks. It's a fitted and a flat sheet. I love it. It's so stylish. It's like classic style. I love using organic cotton sheets. They get softer over time as you wash them. Now I researched lots of different ways to make my bed because there are all these different style choices you can do. I typically like to sleep with lots of pillows, so I just do four standard size pillows. And I did a fitted sheet topped with a flat sheet. And then at first I just put the quilt on, the new quilt, but I decided to do my duvet with a cover underneath it and then add the quilt on top because it still gets a little chilly at night and I kind of like to have the layers option. And then for the pillowcases, I did the striped pillowcase at the back with the white pillowcases up front. When you see beds that are styled in magazines or on Pinterest, they have literally ironed the sheets. And I just know I will never be that level of neat where I'm ironing my sheets. 
uh, unless it was going to be in a magazine or something. So, so yeah, I think it looks best with the white quilted sham. I think it looks best with the white quilted pillows in front. And then I like that the green is popping out a little bit. It adds just a, a little bit of color to an otherwise very neutral bedroom. Let's style the bedside tables. I'm gonna switch to using this smaller lamp. flowers. I bought these ranunculas. These are my favorite flowers. These and peonies. Wait, are these peonies? No, these are ranunculas. And I just put them in a simple glass, cut them really short. It looks so pretty! It's beautiful! My glasses for nighttime. And then what's cool about this lamp is it has a USB port in the back. It has two USB ports. So I can charge my phone and I got rid of that bulky plug that was sticking out of the wall. So I think this is, I'm gonna move that back a little bit actually. Yeah, I'm trying to get better at hiding all the cords in my life. This side I am going to do my rock salt lamp. This is great for purifying the air. So I do want to have it out in the bedroom. Okay, the plug. I guess I want them really close to the wall then. Is that good? Or should they? No, it should be like here. No. I thought I would try switching out the art on this wall, but I don't have the hook set up, so I had to get a little creative. And I personally think it's a very cool style when art is leaning against a wall. So after doing some kind of trial and error, I ended up just placing both frames against the wall in that corner. I think it adds a nice touch and it just makes the room a little bit different. So personal taste here, but I actually really like it. This corner of my room is already very organized. If you've seen my other videos, you know I did a really great declutter and organization on that closet. And then I just set up my spring wardrobe on this wardrobe unit in the corner. So this part of the bedroom is, I'd say it's pretty much how I want it. Now, one day I may decide to no longer have that wardrobe unit, but for now I'm keeping it. I like looking at it and I like having that full length mirror there. Ended up storing the boots in the corner of my closet. I have room back there and I don't need them for this season. So that was the right choice. I do get really good light in my bedroom, so I decided to bring a plant into the room. Just thought it might add a little bit more of the vibe I'm going for, which is pared down, simpler, minimalist, organic. I brought in some wood elements. I've got some plant life going on in here. Uh, got rid of that old rug, moved out the desk, and moved out the two-tiered glass table that was sitting in that corner. And I think it really gives it a nice, fresh look.
I really am loving this new setup. I feel like it shows off the character of the room more, having less stuff in it. The windows are the feature point of this room, and I have the high ceilings, I have the wood floors. It's actually nice not to have any rug in there. Samson's bed has been broken down into two, so now I'm keeping the big fluffy piece in the living room and using just the comforter in the bedroom, which he likes because in the spring and summer it gets hot and he ends up laying on the floor a lot anyways. So at least this way he gets some extra padding. And I think it looks nice. It's kind of a minimalist aesthetic, if you will. Let me know what you think in the comments. Considering I only changed bedding and added one piece of art, I think it's a really nice refresh and it looks really good in here. And it just goes to show you don't have to spend a ton of money to make your space feel new. And I just feel like I brought new energy into my home and into my bedroom and it feels really nice in here, very calming. Thank you for watching this week's video. Leave a like, leave a comment. I love to hear from you and I will see you again for next week's video. Thanks for watching.